Morningside game was, was huge for us in the fact that was our first road win as a, as, a, as a playoff team at the NAI level, and it was exciting because you know it was one game that people didn't think we could win, so it was really a huge um, step for us to go through and, and take that game-winning drive, and there was a lot of great things that happened on that drive. You know, the whole attitude for the entire game, as soon as we got on the field and we had the ball back, we knew we were going to win the game. I mean, that was kind of the attitude we've always had, and we've never been one to back down from challenges. And... Uh, the atmosphere was perfect. It was a beautiful environment. First time I've ever played in snow in my whole life, so it was it was a great deal. And so we knew just right then and there, as soon as we got the ball back with a little bit of time remaining, we were gonna go down and win the game. Dario Camacho was, was an instrumental factor in that entire game. He made a couple of key runs there in that last drive as well. The thing I think I remember the most is is Ben Kisner and Rudy Fleming hooking up over the middle on you know on two occasions that were critical and then Obviously, Haley stepping in there at the very end and, and hitting that game-winning field goal in, in a situation where it was windy and cold and snowy. So it was definitely an exciting time for our football team. It's kind of Phil Stabach's you know, coming out party. Uh, it was his, you know, his time to shine and where he really became you know, the, the leader of our football team. And I think one of the critical things in that drive was he, he proved his warrior mentality. He took a shot on the sideline that a lot of quarterbacks would not have gotten up from and you know, bounced right back up, ran to the side, ran back to the, to, the, to the field and was ready to lead that drive. And so he, he was, that was really a, a key point in his career here at Leno was taking our team down to win that football game. Well, the game was tired, 35-35. And I think we all kind of came together and just uh, – you, know, you could feel everyone from the previous year when we when we lost against Carroll. Um, you can feel I wasn't there, but you can just feel the attitude of the whole offense. You know, it's like payback almost. And uh, I guess it's from my standpoint, you know, being in that situation as a quarterback, you kind of dream for it. And uh, the host, the snow, the cold. I don't I don't think you can get a better picture. And uh, I don't know. It's just you just I felt like. Everyone was looking up to me a little bit, and, um, and we executed. We got the ball deep in our own territory. I think we are at the 12-yard line, and we made a couple of great passes. I think the key play in that drive that I remember is, is Marcel catching a vertical down our sideline. You know, they lined up in a coverage that we thought we could expose a little bit through a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the backside, and, and, and Phil threw it out there, and Marcel made a great play to catch the ball. Actually drew pass interference, didn't need it, but got ourselves down there, and, and you know, the next play we, we ran Donatus on a big play. And he ended up picking up about 20 yards, and then we got down within inside the 10-yard line. I think a lot of people thought we were going to get it to the middle and kick the field goal, but I really wanted to score a touchdown. And so, you know, Phil and, and Matt Bramo hooked up there in the end zone with a, with a critical big-time play. We had called, you know, it was a year ago we had ran a – we were down in a similar situation against Carroll. We had one play to try to get it in. And we ran a play that we hadn't run a lot throughout the season. So what I wanted to do with that at that last play against Carroll this year was go to something we were good at. And really, you know, Phil and Matt Bromwell had a great connection this year, you know, that in that 2009 season. So I wanted to make sure we gave those two guys a chance to win the football game for us. I was expecting the ball to be more of like a catch like this, like I'd fade to it to the corner. But instead it was like over my head and I had to like turn around, kind of like a corner route. I turned around. And I saw it, and I had to sprint to the ball, and it just fell right in my hands. And then after that, I saw the referee throw the hands up and everybody on the sideline going crazy. And it was one of the best feelings, for sure, that I've ever had playing football here. Getting a chance to play against a Division One team is, is a good opportunity for us, and to come away with the win was outstanding. So to get that ball back with about a minute and ten seconds left, and you know, we struggled – you know, putting points on the board. So we were moving the ball all day and was struggling, getting it in the end zone, getting up, getting field goals out of it. So, you know, there at the end of the game, we wanted to just continue with our game plan, which was attack them underneath and try to make a guy miss and get up the field. So we were, we didn't have, we had one timeout left, so we were working the sideline, trying to get that thing out of bounds. And, you know, we got to a critical spot where it was third and about four yards. You know, so it's it a situation where do we, do we go underneath and try to pick up the first down? Do we set up the field goal? You know, we decided to, to be aggressive there and, and run a hitch and go. So we quarterback dropped back, pumped it over to Andrew. And we knew Andrew would get behind him, but it's a risky play. And, you know, the quarterback put the ball, John put the ball out there, and Andrew made an unbelievable one-handed grab. The ball was out in front of him. He had to tap it back to himself, got his feet down, put the ball up the, at the two-yard line uh, with nine seconds left. 
ran a play to center of the ball and then let James Neal do his thing and go in there and, and, and hit that game-winning field goal. Long pass at home, you know, it was a, it was a stutter go, and, uh, you know, they are biting on the hitches all night, and, uh, you know, just we, we, we came down to it, we called it, and we executed it, and, and Andrew made a great catch, and he, he was able to get down to the two-yard line, and it helped us out a lot. I knew what I had to do is short, straight on game, and just all I had to do was get a foot on it and straight through fall through and get the job done. <laughs> Quarterbacks put in that situation, you kind of see what it's really made of because those are critical points, and, and they have to throw completions, incompletions, sacks, interceptions, or any of those mistakes are going to cost you a football game. So it's, it's great to see your quarterbacks keep that composure, keep the cool, and be able to, to march our football team down and get points.